Hi, I'm Richard from Jennings Bramley Furniture and I'm based in South London. I design, make and fit bespoke furniture and I'm going to show you some DIY tips. Okay, this is a disc sander. It's got a big disc that revolves. It's a table you can adjust the angle of. Um, and it's used for sanding. I mean, on this I'm going to shape this to a nice curve. Cutting that with a bandsaw, you can see it's burnt the wood slightly. It leaves a slightly rough finish, and you can sand it with a disc sander nice and smooth. So I've drawn a line on the top, and I'll follow it around. You'll see it's got a guard on this side. That's so that if you were to touch a piece of wood on there, it would fly up, because it revolves that way. On this side, it pulls it down onto the table. Um, so it does give you a limited amount of space. You can get big ones of these, up to this size, or quite small ones too. The bigger, the more useful, but slightly more dangerous too. Um, you need extraction because lots of dust comes out and it'll get in your lungs, in your eyes, and just everywhere. And it's best to use extraction always. Um, and ear defenders. So I'll turn the extraction on, then the machine, and then um, I'll do a bit of sanding. Wait for it to get to full speed first. Keep your fingers away from the edge. If your fingers go down there, it'll really hurt, so just don't do it. Don't concentrate on one part too long. If you do, the wood will overheat. On the outside edge, the wheel moves faster. So more comes off, a lot of it comes off faster. And here you can see it's nice and smooth. And that's where it's still rough from before. That's the saw marks you can see. This bit here has been sanded nicely. There, I went slightly too close and it's got burnt. If that happens, you have to take a little bit more off. So try not to do that. That's how to use a disc sander.